It is a case that we've had our eyes on now for two decades. St. John's student Joshua Jimo disappeared 20 years ago today. And there's been a resurgence of tips in the last two weeks after a new Netflix episode of Unsolved Mysteries. Fox 9's Rob Olson is live in Collegeville for us with an update. And so, Rob, investigators say that they're being flooded now with tips. Yeah, getting a lot coming in. You know, uh, 20 years, it's hard to believe. I covered this story 20 years ago for this station. It was 20 years ago tonight, though, that Joshua Gimon was last seen uh, going across this bridge back to his dorm on campus. But major anniversaries like this often do bring uh, some major tips coming in. And as you mentioned, an episode of Unsolved Mysteries a couple of weeks ago has brought them more than they've ever had. I have hope that, that we can obtain answers for this case, and I try to keep that optimism amongst our investigative team. Lieutenant Zach Sorensen says the unsolved case of Josh Gimon is never far from their minds. On this 20th anniversary of his disappearance, walking home to his dorm in the St. John's campus, it's even more so. But today is, is a different feeling, you know, and we, we feel for Joshua's parents and his family and friends. And since the release of this montage of photos, October 21st, images found on Josh's computer, well, the case is new life, generating more tips in two weeks than they've had in two decades. We're over 75 tips that have been generated in the last two weeks regarding those pictures and other things related to this investigation. The photo release came deliberately timed with the Netflix drop of Unsolved Mysteries with an episode focused on Josh Gimo. Joshua Gimo vanished from In 2010, the Fox 9 investigators examined Josh's hard drive and discovered um, he did a search at 6.42. That somebody had run an internet washer several days after Josh's disappearance, a discovery that became a key part of the Unsolved Mysteries story. Those pictures were still on the hard drive, some of them specifically from a Yahoo chat room. The question is, is, is what's their involvement in this case? The other question is, is who was behind the computer at the time that those photos were saved on that particular storage device. Now they said it was a difficult decision. They've had the pictures from the hard drive for a long time. We're trying to work through, uh, you know, uh, family, friends to identify people, uh, realizing that they're probably putting pictures of innocent people out there. Uh, but again, it does generate tips. They said, interestingly, though, none of the photo, none of the phone calls or tips that have come in has been from anyone claiming to be somebody in that photo montage. But again, if you have any information that could help, if you recognize anybody in those pictures, call Stearns County. Live at St. John's, Rob Olson, Fox 9. They get some answers soon. Thanks, Rob.